and welcome to the second episode of the 2020 City of Hamilton Arts Awards. I'm your host, Laura Ellis. Throughout Hamilton Arts Week, we will be celebrating 61 of the incredible Arts Awards nominees and featuring special profiles of the award winners. In this video, we will be presenting the awards for theater, visual arts, and fine craft. Now, if you missed our first video featuring an amazing performance by the Hamilton Youth Poets and the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, you can find it on the Arts Awards Facebook page and at www.hamilton.ca slash arts awards. The city of Hamilton is situated upon the traditional territories of the Erie, Neutral, Huron-Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Mississaugas. This land is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, which was an agreement between the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabek to share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. We further acknowledge that this land is covered by the Between the Lakes Purchase, 1792 between the Crown and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Today, the city of Hamilton is home to many indigenous people from across Turtle Island, North America. And we recognize that we must do more to learn about that rich history of this land so that we can better understand our roles as residents, neighbors, partners, and caretakers. Before we move on to our first award of the evening, I would like to introduce Jeanette Smith, city manager, to say a few words from the city. Hi, everyone. Last year, for the first time, I had the privilege to participate in the City of Hamilton Arts Awards. It was a wonderful event to celebrate the dynamic and vital role that the arts community plays in our city. We're under different circumstances this year, but I'm so happy I can once again participate in this annual event and recognize the arts community. And I want to thank Jason Thorne and the team at the Planning and Economic Development Department to move the event to an online format so we didn't miss a year. On behalf of all city staff, I want to thank all the nominators, the sponsors and volunteers for playing a critical role in ensuring the Arts Awards move forward. And of course, I want to congratulate all the nominees and winners. I know these are very challenging times for the arts community, but by working together, which is the Hamilton way, we will recover and the arts community will continue to play a vital role in this city. Thank you, congratulations, and stay safe. Bye for now. Thank you, Jeanette. It's always great to hear from our city leadership. Our first award today is for theater. So much of theater is about that intimacy an audience gets by being in the same room. The raw, up close and, and truly personal experience of human connection and emotion. It's so much more difficult during times like these. So we just have to try to persevere and find a way to make it work. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. For I shall say good night till it be morrow. And sometimes it's just not the same and we need some support. So thank you so much to the Insight Foundation for sponsoring the Emerging Artist Award in this category. Hamilton's thriving theater scene is so grateful to have your unwavering support, especially in times like these. As we all strive to explore where theater will go, how it will reinvent itself, we know Insight will be there to support us. The nominees for this year's Theatre Award are Theatre Michael Hannigan Michael Hannigan is a local actor, director, with extensive credits on several of the professional and community stages in the Hamilton-Wentworth area. Michael has nominated Claude Spadafora as his emerging artist. Claude Spadafora is an emerging multidisciplinary performance artist with a focus on creating abstract and visceral experiences within an anti-oppressive framework. Kelly Wolf. 
Kelly Wolf is a theater maker, a set and costume designer, and an artist educator. A determined dreamer and explorer, she has created designs for theaters across Canada. Productions with her company Open Heart explore site-specific theater creation, foregrounding the site in the storytelling while investigating current social issues. Kelly has nominated Carlin Ramey as her emerging artist. Carlin Ramey is a storyteller, theater creator, and co-founder of Squirrel Suit Productions. Ron Weiss. Ronald Weiss is a playwright, director, and artistic director of Artward Theatre. In Toronto, with Judith Sandiford, he converted a factory into a major theatre facility. Moving to Hamilton, they operated Artward Art Bar from 2009 to 2019, originating over 20 theatre productions, including James Street, Scroogeissimo, and McBush, the musical. Ron has nominated Will Gillespie as his emerging artist. Will Gillespie is an emerging theater artist, playwright, composer, actor, and director for Chasing Shadow Productions. Thank you for honoring me with this award. When I came to Hamilton 15 years ago, I defined myself as a set and costume designer. And this city has opened ways of expressing myself that I never even imagined. And it has enabled me to become the full expression of myself as a theater artist. Everything in my designs is essential, has meaning and is part of the unspoken language of the production. The audience reads every clue related to color, shape, line, texture, historical detail, and forms their own personal connection as it relates to their own lived experience. And I love how powerful our imaginations can be. By providing the audience with visual clues, they become engaged in filling in the gaps and making meaning for themselves. As a designer, I am typically required to travel for my work at a certain point, I decided that I wanted to travel less, stay home with my family, and make theatre in my own community. And that if I wanted that to happen, I had to be part of making that happen. I continue to design sets and costumes for theatre, but as I mature as an artist, I see that I can also be an instigator of projects. I have the Hamilton Frostbites Festival to thank for giving me several opportunities to author my own work. I see the site-specific theatre work that I create as a direct extension of my work as a designer, giving voice to the surroundings and the stories inherent in that space. Through my creative work, I'm attempting to break down barriers of space and the question of who belongs in that space. Traditional theatre settings come with inherent barriers around cost, culture and physical space. As a settler of European descent, I believe that part of my role in community is to challenge traditional structures that continue to benefit a few to the exclusion of many. As a site-specific theater maker, I value the opportunity to work outside of these margins and to create my own framework. I'm inspired by the people I encounter every day, and I've been thinking about my current project for at least four years. I see the people living on the street and I wonder how did they get there and did they choose this? I want to know what my responsibility is as an artist. How am I supposed to respond? And the fear of the unknown challenges me to face things head on. Fear that I don't know enough about what is going on, that I will fail to respond truthfully, that I will layer in my own judgment. And my inner critic says, who am I to think that I should tell this story? The conversations around the table project is my response to what I see happening in the city. Stealing from adults around you. You're not sleeping or eating properly. You're living out on the street, couch hopping. Sometimes you get to sleep in your friend's closet. Her dad works at Chips Ahoy. So you sit at home and eat cookies while he's working all day. It's kind of nice. Actually. Sleep in Salvation Army bins for a little while. It's warm, and your bootlegger is a cab driver, so he honks his horn in the morning to let you know to get out before they check the bins. You're on the streets, but you feel safer out here.
I am grateful for those who have come before me and who have supported and championed my growth as an artist. And now it's my turn. I am grateful to Sanjudi Sarkar who nominated me for this award. And I'm also thrilled to be able to support the growth and development of emerging artist Carlin Ramey, who is bringing so much vibrancy to this city. Carlin and I met through the ALERT program with the Hamilton Fringe, and we connected through a common interest in stories about mental health. We share the desire to explore stories about the human experience and connecting to each other. Art connects us. Creating art within communities strengthens our sense of belonging, healing, and joy. And it is one way to build a street, a neighborhood, and a city that is more compassionate. Thank you. Congratulations, Kelly and Carlin. So our next award is the Visual Arts Award. Visual arts have always been strong in Hamilton, making it particularly challenging for our jury with nominees working in everything from painting to installation. Next up is a message from Marie Phillips, Wealth Advisor at IPC Securities, the sponsor of this year's Emerging Artists in Visual Arts. Hi, do you know one of the biggest myths about artists since they don't plan on retiring is that they don't need a financial plan. I think we've seen during the crisis recently that that's not the case. Um, I believe money is not a destination or a goal, not something to be sat on like Rumpelstiltskin, but it's simply a tool. It's a tool to enrich your life and those that you love around you. So coming from a family of artists uh, to support the Hamilton Arts Awards is a natural fit and we send our sincerest congratulations to all of the nominees. The nominees for this year's Visual Arts Award are Visual Arts David Shepard David Shepard is a realist, hyper-realist artist trained at the Academy of Realist Art Toronto. Each of his oil paintings is a spectacular, jaw-dropping show of technical performance with seductive, bold movement and thought-provoking themes, creating an interesting aesthetic while at the same time propelling narrative behind it. David has nominated Audrey Pearson as his emerging artist. Audrey Pearson is a printmaker who primarily uses etching to create miniature imaginary environments. Elizabeth Sue Hanna. When Elizabeth Sue Hanna embarked on her journey after retirement, she was so inspired by Gore Park and the downtown environment that she wanted to preserve the historical architectural styles that graced Hamilton past and present. Her work includes years of experimenting with organics and binders and thinking outside the canvas. Elizabeth has nominated Pat Green as her emerging artist. Pat Green is an emerging visual artist painting with acrylics and drawing with various media who loves capturing God's magnificent creations on canvas and paper. Matthew McInnes. Matt McInnes is an established printmaker based in Dundas, Ontario. His artistic process is informed by over 14 years as an arts educator. He uses the didactic and collaborative nature of these experiences in combination with effective drawings and the versatility of printmaking to document forgotten or overlooked regional histories. Matthew has nominated Michael Schnicker as his emerging artist. Michael Schnicker is an emerging printmaker and artist with a focus on screen printing. Ted Bassiano. Ted Bassiano has created sculptures, prints, and drawings. His mosaics are unique in the way he sets his found materials into acrylic paint. Inspired by doodles, there are whimsical figures, human-like animals, and symbols from nature in his works. Having spent 14 years in South Korea has influenced Ted. Ted has nominated Kimberly Papp as his emerging artist. Kimberly Papp uses paint and paper mache sculpture to explore the northern landscapes of her origin, portraiture, and whimsy. Leslie Allen Sasaki. 
Leslie Sasaki is a visual artist and arts educator with over 30 years of experience. He presents familiar, often overlooked subjects in new combinations and unusual materials so that we may see them afresh. Most recently, he has focused on portraiture executed in Scotch brand magic tape. Leslie has nominated Jamie Miller as his emerging artist. Jamie Miller is an emerging artist and maker exploring the locality of relationship among people and the natural world using a variety of mediums. Christopher Dean. Christopher Dean is an abstract painter based in Hamilton, Ontario. He holds a BFA from OCAD U and has exhibited his work across Canada, Hong Kong, the United States, and Australia. He is currently represented by Ian Tan Gallery in Vancouver, New Zones in Calgary, and Art Interiors in Toronto. Christopher has nominated Dope Chief as his emerging artist. Dope Chief is a contemporary visual artist whose work is often layered symbolically and colorful. Hi guys! <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. Good, good. I'm Laura Ellis. I'm hosting this year's Hamilton uh, Arts Awards online presentation. It's really nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. And it's really cool to talk to you guys because uh, you're both in the visual arts category, right? The established and emerging, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It's even, uh, oh, I lost you. There you are. <laughs> it's even more Sorry awesome to that. talk to you guys uh, because I don't know a lot about visual arts, but more so because you both totally won. What? Wait, what? Because you both totally won the category. Huh. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <Okay. laughs> well, um, Michael, can I start with you just a little bit? Because you're the emerging artist, right? Sure. Um, so you're you're in print media. I was looking over some of your stuff. Very awesome. Mm -hmm. um, can you, you just tell everybody who's watching uh, how will the the award um, maybe encourage or like change your practice going forward? Um, it's definitely a big encouragement. Uh, I definitely suffer from a little bit of imposter syndrome sometimes because I don't necessarily have a BFA or anything like that in the art world, but this is pretty much a big uh, pat on the back and pretty exciting. I didn't really expect to win, but I'm just excited to get back to making more work and kind of see where it goes. That's awesome. No, I think we all feel a little bit bit of that from one time or another. And Matt, um, yeah. congratulations to you on the award as well. Thank you. Uh, yeah. What can you, uh, what would you like to say, knowing that uh, you, you know, have gotten this awesome award and recognition for what you're doing? Well, I, I have to sort of echo Mike a little bit there, and I, I think it's really validating, um, especially because, you know, I know that juries are made up of other artists in, in town. Um, so that means a lot. Um, and certainly like just, especially because of COVID and all that stuff uh, lately, um, it'll be nice to have the income to uh, to be able to make some, some work going forward. So um, I'm just in the process of working on a new project and uh, this will, will definitely help. Like a lot of my stuff um, is is produced with printmaking. So just in terms of budget and materials, it'll, it'll go a long way towards that. And, uh, and groceries. <laughs> so. That's a that's a really great point. I hope everyone out there um, also acknowledges how hard uh, this kind of thing is for artists out there and that they, they really think about supporting local artists like yourself who really, really deserve it. So congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, hope this, uh... I hope this made your COVID. <laughs> totally. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Hi there, my name is Matt McKinnis and I'm here at Centre 3 on James Street North in Hamilton. Centre 3 is an artist-run centre that supports artists and collaborates with community members through the arts. I've been involved with C3 for over 15 years as a studio member, arts educator, program coordinator and studio technician. Centre 3 has several gallery spaces, community and education classrooms and production space including traditional, digital and screen printing studios. 
Today, I'll be working downstairs on a new project using the Screen Printing Studio. So these are Center 3 Screen Printing Studios. Um, this area here is dedicated to t-shirt printing. Members use the space to print their own work, and Center 3 also prints custom t-shirt jobs for the Hamilton community and beyond. For the past three years, I've been working on a collaborative project called the Brightside Neighborhood Project. This was a research and community arts project which engaged current and former residents of the long disappeared Brightside neighborhood in Hamilton. I had the opportunity to make drawings based on historical data and stories told to me by the Brightside residents. Brightside was a working class community, but it was the stories of the people's time away from factory work that really captured my imagination. Some of the stories that resonated most with me were ones about people playing hockey on the frozen Hamilton Bay and its once sprawling inlets. While documenting some of these stories, I became fascinated by Hamilton's hockey history. I felt that there was a parallel in Hamilton history and culture between hockey players and artists, with both groups often working day jobs or for lesser wages in order to pursue their true passion. I discovered the Hamilton Tigers professional hockey team of the 1920s. The Tigers were the first NHL team to go on strike. They did so early in 1925 over a wage dispute. The league suspended them for refusing to play, and as a result, they lost the chance to play for the championship and were sold to an American team that summer. I researched and documented the 12 players on the 1925 team by creating photo collages and then drawings of each. From here, I'm planning to translate the drawings into a screen printed trading card format. So I scanned all of the Hamilton Tigers drawings and imported them into Photoshop and I've added color and text to imitate um, a combination of old hockey card designs. So I've made digitally printed films of the artwork and I've taped them to the screen that's coated with emulsion and they're going to be exposed photographically for screen printing. Um, so I'm putting the screen into this uh, exposure unit and I'm going to use its light spectrum to transfer the information from the digitally printed artwork uh, to the screen. So I'm spraying the newly exposed screen with water uh, and the water is going to help to uh, magically reveal the transferred image on the screen. Okay, so I've set up my exposed screen on my printing table um, and I also have my inks and my, uh, my tools set up and paper and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to print one color at a time, one layer after the other. So first I'm going to print the background layer. I'd like to say a big thank you to the City of Hamilton's Arts Awards Initiative, especially the Arts Awards Jury and the Cobalt Connects team for supporting my practice through the Visual Arts Award and for all of their hard work in supporting the arts, especially throughout these challenging times. Thank you. Congratulations to Matthew and Michael. Our next award is in Fine Craft. Every category in the City of Hamilton Arts Awards program is juried by a group of artistic peers from Hamilton and representation from outside our community. Even though there's only one nominee, that nominee must meet a high benchmark score to be put forward by the jury. The 2020 recipient of the Fine Craft Award is Andrew Kellner with his emerging artist, Angela Bussey.
fine craft. Andrew Kellner. Andrew Kellner received a diploma from Sheridan College in 2003, a BFA in 2005 from the Alberta College of Art and Design, and an MFA in 2017 from West Virginia University. In addition to keeping a home studio, Andrew continues to contribute to the ceramics community by teaching local ceramic classes. Andrew has nominated Angela Bussey as his emerging artist. Angela Bussey is an emerging multimedia artist working in both ceramic and printmaking. Hi. Hi. Yes, I'm uh, Laura Ellis and I'm doing the Arts Awards online. I'm hosting this year. Um, cool. so really awesome to talk to you. Nice to meet you, Andrew and Angela. Um, I'm really excited to get to talk to you both because you're both nominated for Fine Craft, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and I'm, uh, I think I'm like more excited because I get to be the person that gets to tell you that you won. <laughs> By default. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Angela, you're, you're, um, the, are you the emerging artist? Is that right? That's right. So I'm just wondering, um, now that you know that you won, I know it's like brand new news, surprise, take some time to process. Um, what do you think, how will this help or influence you going forward in your uh, practice? How will it help me going forward? Um, I think the uh, promotional aspect is going to be huge. Um, there's a lot that happens here at the Cotton Factory. I'm in one of the shared spaces, so we get a lot of people coming through. But being able to say that I'm an emerging artist for the city of Hamilton is pretty exciting. Hello, my name is Andrew Calder, and I'm a ceramic artist. I moved to Hamilton three years ago. And right now I'm in my small studio space that I've carved out of my home. Currently I'm in the process of building a new garage studio. With the thanks to the Hamilton Arts Awards, it's making it a lot easier. Fine craft excites me in both the production of and its engagement, making the absurd struggle of life enjoyable by finding simple, joyful moments in the small, innocuous ways. The texture of a familial plate or a mug, for example. In this way, I believe pottery and fine craft has an innate power to create brief instances of small pleasure in the mundane moments of the everyday. The act of eating from, washing, and storing dishes contributes to a series of communicative moments between users and the maker. The necessity and repetition of daily patterns present opportunities to remind us of our relationship to things, as well as our connection to the outside world. Pottery, when used in the domestic setting, eventually breaks down. It stains, glazes dull, and chipped edges form. These are the battle scars of utilitarian wear, a well-loved piece of pottery. These marks are to be admired and help in the brief instances of small pleasure on a daily basis, creating moments of experiential sympathy between the participant and the maker. These moments can't be codified or appropriated, but have an immediate enjoyment of everydayness. I'm enamored by the clay's plasticity and tactility. It is the quick, squishy, responsive nature of the material itself that draws me in. I cut back into the clay to expose the rough, groggy inner quality similar to the gritty texture of early wet-struck bricks. Using this reductive process leaves these cut edges in the soft clay, similar to the curved lines found in barbed wire. These cuts create subtle edges in form that the slip and glaze break and cascade over, helping to accentuate the pot. I'm attracted to the sensory pleasure of making, also the continual negotiation of internal and external volume, the form and the surface. Wanting these objects to live in the home and act as an element of pleasure and functionality within the routines of daily life.
these are some of the thoughts uh, that go into my studio practice. And I just wanted to say thank you to the City of Hamilton for recognizing and fostering the importance of the arts and crafts within the city. And I'm happy to call Hamilton home. Congratulations to all our award recipients tonight. It's always so amazing to learn more about the creative minds in our own community and to see their practice. The sponsors of this year's City of Hamilton Arts Awards are IPC Securities, BLR, Core Urban Inc, DPAI, the Insight Foundation, and the Hamilton Community Foundation. With in-kind support from Hamilton Spectator, Banco Media, and View Magazine. We sincerely thank every one of them for their ongoing support of the arts in Hamilton. In closing tonight, we would like to encourage you to watch the Hamilton Arts Week signature performance by singer-songwriter Michelle Titan. Head on over to the Hamilton Arts Week page at www.hamiltonartscouncil.ca slash artsweek. Join me for our next watch party on June 16th at 7 p.m. where we will announce the winners of arts management, dance and performing arts, and media arts categories. And remember, stay creative and stay classy, Hamilton. <laughs>